They're My trying nice. to scam. They're trying to scam all K-pop stars. Whoa, mm -hmm. what the? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Who were they? I want to talk. Maybe it's the spirit of dead. He's not dead, you know. <laughs> A-S-P-H-A-T. As fat. <laughs> something the boxes are getting bigger on top of that I didn't really want to buy these boxes but my mom won an argument so I'm just gonna leave Why it did there you want to buy them? because Home Depot is canceled the home of the depots is canceled we are not supporting Home Depot but my mom on the other hand has no idea what cancel culture is and she says but I use these boxes every time I move so it's superstition like if you use any other box now you're gonna die in the middle of the move. This is marketing. That's what it is. That is not even a superstition, mother. What is world's going on? Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to Tadar's vlog. So today I'm gonna be turning myself into a K-pop star, a K-pop star. <laughs> <laughs> I have just been struggling with life recently and it's either I turn myself into a K-pop star and try to just disassociate from my own life and pretend that I'm just I'm just a really rich black pink member or I can have another mental breakdown about this whole packing situation but I'm not gonna do that okay we're just gonna turn ourselves into a K-pop star and try to forget about life because life sucks right now <laughs> you're not K-pop star <laughs> you're, you're a K-pop star <laughs> <laughs> So before we do that, I know and you know that a lot of K-pop stars, when they're not wearing their wonderful contacts, they're probably wearing some glasses. They probably look a lot better than being glasses. But let me introduce you to some of my new favorite pairs. You're thinking, whoa, new favorite pairs of glasses? That's insane. That's because I use GlassesUSA.com, so these glasses are not that expensive. I know that you're used to eyeglasses, prescription sunglasses, being bajillions of dollars, but GlassesUSA.com, they cut out that middleman, which means that you get prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses up to 70% off of retail prices. You can actually get your basic pair of frames plus prescriptions for only $30. $30. So if you're like me and you want different styles to di fit your different aesthetics, your different clothings, GlassesUSA.com is the place to do it. They have a lot of in-house brands that you can shop from. Amelia, E, Muse, those are my favorite. But they also have high-end brands. If you're feeling bougie, check out these Gucci's. They also have blue light lenses, and on top of that, if you're sustainable, they have 100% sustainable eyeglasses on their website as well. So make sure to check out glassesusa.com, linked in the description, and I will actually link all of my favorite eyeglasses as well, and my contacts, I get all my contacts from them. But anyways, now let's get into becoming a kebab star. I'm actually dressing up for you guys today. I've got multiple outfits that Blackpink has worn on stage for specific what? performances. You're thinking, Stephanie, wow, you're like rich, rich. Because they only wear designer. No, I did not purchase anything from Chanel, no. There's like this ripoff, um, <laughs> there's this website where they sell K-pop idols clothes, but it's not their clothes. It's just like a remake of it. Imagine sometimes when you buy something from Shein, maybe it's a ripoff of like a Louis Vuitton dress, right? Like a Louis Vuitton jacket, but they just kind of like made it. They sell it to you for cheaper, except here's the catch. This website was not cheap. <laughs> like one outfit was like a hundred dollars. One outfit was like a hundred dollars. So how many outfits did you get? You don't want to know yet. I wanted to show you guys that I did my makeup a little bit differently. I don't know if anyone noticed. I do have to tell you a story. My lips are bleeding, okay? This is my chapstick. That's almost empty now. It's like when, I, when I'm doing my makeup, I like to use this one. It's the Tatcha. It's the gold spun lip balm. It's amazing. It makes my lips silky smooth. Now, I happened to be on FaceTime with my sister while I was getting ready this morning, and for whatever reason, I didn't even think about it. I thought I was like such a makeup guru that I could just, you know, kind of feel for things. And I got my Anastasia Brow Freeze. Do you know what a brow freeze is? Gel oh. for your eyebrows that just makes it stick perfectly. You messed up? And I just... So what happened? And it just stuck together and I had to wash it off and then there was like these little peely things that were left uh, and I had to peel it off of so me. So you put glue on your lips? I put glue on my lips. And it wasn't still that bad. Show you no! <laughs> <laughs> And then I also had a lot of comments saying, oh my god, like you changed your foundation finally because like it wasn't really matching your skin tone. I tried to go lighter, it wouldn't work. I tried mixing foundations, it wouldn't work. And then I got this. 
okay I'm only showing you guys because you've been asking but I will say just straight up this is not shade inclusive they've got two shades and that's it Bruh. and you're one of them and I'm one of them okay so <laughs> So like you can tell that they do not cater to darker skin tones, which is a massive problem This is a Korean brand. They don't even sell it in the States I believe so I got it off a Korean website But if you guys are looking for like something nice for your skin get a compact I didn't realize the hype around these until I started using a compact instead of a foundation It's almost like a liquidy foundation and you just stick this specific sponge in there it's amazing. And then I also got these from a Korean website, okay? They're from the brand called Milk Shadow. No, that's not the brand. It's from the brand Colorgram, like Instagram, but Colorgram, okay? And these are what I put on my eyes. You guys have been asking, what do I put on my eyes to make it shimmer? Because you're like, I want to avoid it when I'm using I want to make sure I never accidentally buy it. Well, these are the ones, okay? They're in shade 07 and 01. You want me to read the Korean for you? Stop asking. I will. Okay. Double star. A double star. A double star. That's what I'm going to be today. A double star. Okay, this one is... What is that? What the f is that? Mm -hmm. Zero seven, okay? Zero seven. And then for my lips, I've been doing something a little bit different today, okay? Usually I like to go for pinks or like a slightly red and then just use a tiny bit and put it all over my lips. And Koreans, I know, okay? Because every time I go on a Korean beauty website, this is like the number one best-selling color all the time for every freaking lipstick. They love coral. I never liked coral because it's too orange for me. Then I got that this. what you have right now? Yeah. I like it. You like it? I feel like what you used to have yeah. you, every day is really aggressive. I'm going to kill you and then kill you again. I've been wanting to try this. So I'm gonna tie my hair for the first time in five ever. Okay. So then I'm gonna kind of like put in these and then pull out like tiny little. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kebab star. <laughs> Kebab star. <laughs> Why am I bald right there? So now that you're gonna do a high pony. I don't know if this is. <laughs> what? Listen, that's not how it ends, okay? What? And then you in get the... fake hair. And then you just let it on the side. It does kind of look like a Bob Stars. You think so? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So I look kind yeah. of like oh, yeah, a Bob Star? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do that. You think so? Yeah. All it took was a fake ponytail from your style. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, no. let me go try on a couple different outfits. Oh. And then we're going to pick the one that I should debut in. Except I can't debut in it because they're all black pink outfits. You already know the netizens, the stands, the blinks. They're gonna come for me if I were to debut. I'm a blink, by the way, so calm down. Yeah. I just don't think you have to grunt like that. Yeah. Okay, are you done? Not yet. What do you think? Hello there. <laughs> you're okay, what do you need? <laughs> and I have an olive tree. Oh. So that's my olive tree, and I'm the Bob Star. I wanna show off my outfit. I just got up like this with my fake hair ponytail. Oh. I'm ready. Whoa. That's it. from black pink yeah it looks nothing like her How, okay objectively without knowing that do you like the fit do you not like it no i'm not gonna sugarcoat you look all right <laughs> this is a hundred dollar boo boo you just got scammed I got Whoa. Are you sure that's what she wore? Yeah. Are you sure? I found out the website. It's called Fashion Chingu, which means fashion friend. And I just want to let you know that they're, they're not, not your freaking friend, friend, okay? They want to be a friend of your wallet, but they're not your freaking friend, okay? If you just want to buy these outfits for nostalgia, even though they're not the same brand as, the, you know, what they actually wore, but they feel like some of the shittest material I've ever worn in my entire life. My, my, my grandma has the same sleeves. Does she really? What yeah. does she do with them? When she does dishes, it covers her. <laughs> What's your rating on this? Like a 5 out of 10. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
this one by itself I think was like $40. I'm really upset They're by this. They're trying to scam. They're trying to scam all K-pop stars. They even have a BTS section. Yeah. Oh, so stands is what I meant. Yeah. They're scamming me, okay? I'm so disappointed. Whoa, this is, you bought this? That looks good. What? That looks so good. Wait, Are you naked they, inside? Yeah. I can see your underwear. <laughs> Why don't you wear some pants? Oh, because I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna create some scandal for me and my group, you know? Get us some publicity. Okay, so I was holding it in the back, but if I don't hold it, look at this shit. Oh. I'm on a tangle. But when I hold it. That's the problem with these websites. Better, no? When yeah. I hold it. So this is supposed to be. I believe this is supposed to be YSL. This is horrendous. I wasted so much money. This is $70. Mm -hmm. oh if I knew God. it was gonna be this shitty, if, if I knew it was gonna be this shitty, I would have just bought a nice one from like, I don't know, Zara. Disappointed. I'm di just disappointed in your financial decisions. Yes, hope or no hope? I have a what hope? Is there a hope? Oh, is there hope? Hope. No. Whoa, what the? What? <laughs> what? Who wore this? Jisoo, I want to talk. Obviously, it was much prettier. It was Versace. It didn't look cheap. <laughs> Hers was like Versace, and mine is Fashion Chingo. I feel like you got scammed. I feel like I could have made it better. <laughs> it was supposed to look like this. Um, I think you're missing the waist <laughs> They didn't give it to me. Maybe I have to buy it separately. I was gonna like learn a small dance with my debut outfit, but I can't debut like this. Bro, this is really, this is really bad. I don't think you're gonna make it. Look at this shit. It feels like it's about to fall apart in two seconds. What a waste of money! Welcome to the former guest room, former Dan Dan's room, former... I don't even know Dan. We never really had a purpose for this room, honestly. I am disappointed in myself, okay? I thought for sure I was gonna like, I don't know. Listen, I'm not gonna say that anymore, but I thought for sure I was gonna live here for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's this bathroom that's so echoey. Oh. Hello? Hello, motherfucker. Oh my god! Oh my god. Dude. Hello? Where are you? Ah! So scared, so scared. So Why did I say that? Please. What if somebody responds? <laughs> Why did you get the camera? Go get the camera! What are you doing? I'm so scared. Go get the camera! Now it turned into a haunted video. What the heck? Just moving into our new house and it's haunted. Well, maybe it's uh, the spirit of Dan Dan that's haunting us. Yeah, he's not dead, you know. We're gonna see him in like a couple of weeks, you know. My mom did a majority of the packing in this room because. Wow, it was not something that I could have done. I'm just backseat driving for this one, okay? I do want to mention something. Are you saying goodbye to this room right now? Yes. Maybe I should explore the room for one last time. Maybe I should get up onto this dusty bed. We're not keeping these bunk beds anymore. So you should say goodbye because uh, Stephanie's uh, sister is taking one and my family is taking the other. <laughs> so here's the, where this bunk bed came about, okay? okay. We want it. Make a guest room. We all agreed upon that, right? Yeah. And my stupid ass thought, like, how do I maximize a guest room? Because we're gonna have so many guests over because we're gonna have a house for the first time. And I was like, bunk bed, let's get two so we can have four beds exactly. and we can maximize the guests. So if my whole family were to visit, mom, dad, <laughs> and, and your sister. sister, exactly. Uh. It was used once. My sister, her friend, and Andrew. Yeah. And they fucking hated me for it. <laughs> they, they said, what kind of, this is disgusting. They were like, why are you running a hostel in your house? And I was like, okay, first of all, that's really classist and rude. Yeah. Second of all, it's efficient. So we're oh, well. giving one to my sister because she hated it here, but she said she'll love it in her house. <laughs> so, and then the next one we're giving to his family. You're probably thinking, well, what are they going to use with the <laughs> bed? They said they're going to turn it into a plant greenhouse. <laughs> My grandpa is really good at recycling things. So if imagine I... minus the mattresses, but like just no, 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 no. They're not going to just use it. They're ta they're going to take apart. Like for example, this in our eyes is a bunk bag. In my grandpa's eyes, this railing could be a perfect if he take this part off, flip it over, like flip it over like this. Okay. And now he can put plants like around that and it can grow like this way going up and then he can add the other railing in behind it and then create anyways if one day i showed them the garden in the backyard 
it's all made out of trash. <laughs> I just want to say that these bug buds are way too, too good to be trash, excuse you. So let me give you a tour of the other rooms, okay? Because, I mean... What, what happened to the K-Bobber? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> here's, here's the problem with um, today. I had to clean the gym because someone is coming down to take out the mirrors. You know what? I'm really upset with these boxes. I just want to make that clear again. These boxes are not my choice. They're horrendous boxes. What if I just broke something in there? But I just want to say, I can't complain because my mom's helping me for free with the packing. So what can I do, you know? I've got a dog cone. Like, why is this in here? So what happened? Continue your story. What was my story? Oh yeah, the K-boppers! The, the kebab star video. I really wanted to finish it. I really wanted to learn to dance. I really wanted to wow you guys with my debut outfit. But then we found out that t t tomorrow morning, we're pe having people come over to like uninstall something in the gym. So I was like, well, that means I gotta clean the gym. I gotta pack the gym. So guess what I put on? This is my moving outfit. I have worn this five days. Every time that I pack, I gotta put this on because something about it gives me like moving vibes. Moving vibes, like I'm just moving this box. That eight. So are you gonna say goodbye to this room now? Yes. This room, I loved this room. This was one of my favorite rooms. It was by far one of the best rooms, really. Look at this crime scene. So this is actually a kid's chair. And I thought it was adorable. I actually wanted it as my chair. I feel like it has a weight limit, just like do my work. And then it got here. It was this small. I mean, I thought when the, they said kids table, kids chair, I was like, oh, it's gonna be slightly smaller than an adult chair. No, it's an infant chair. This one. Babe, this oh, good. that's a good one. I love it so much. I love it. Just, that's a nose. This is the look. I got it from comingsoonnewyorkcity.com. Coming like soon. <laughs> sounds like a scam website, but it's not. It's like a really big Instagram shop. So I got this from them. So that's the state of this used to be pink room. Wait. Used to be pink room, transformed into office, transformed into Patricia's room, transformed into podcast room, transformed into like a cute little aesthetic backdrop room. And now we're moving. This is my problem. I can't just like keep one energy. Problems. And this is the state wow. of the hallway right now. The little bit of hall Wow. And then we have this. So you're probably wondering how I climb onto the sofa, right? This fragile box right here says fragile. Yeah, I just step on it. Oh, this is what I do. Um, when I pet no. tiger, I just that's disgusting. How do you claim <laughs> you? Would... When I pet tiger, clumps of his hair just fall out. So I gather it on his body. So like, if I pet him like this, at the end of his booty, there's just a clump of hair. That's that disgusting. Fell out. So then I, I think just gather it like this and place it onto the side table for me to clean up later. That's, that's... <laughs> That's disgusting. Whoa, what the hell is that? I've never seen that before. Like how, how are you not sinking then? You just don't. You don't need to blow it up? No, it's science. Are you serious? It's oh no, you have to blow ears in the, no, to the don't. side, honey. No. Yes, you do. How do you think, how to flow without air? Different. Oh, I packed our air pump. You can just blow into it, it's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty good at blowing, so I'll just leave it to me. So what do you think is in this box right here? You think it's like perfectly organized where we just have perfect things placed in here? It says TV something. We have a construction hat, a fake telephone, dog toy, my Christmas reindeers, <laughs> another little, I want to keep well, that right now, one. our ping pong table match thing, all of our ping pong balls, and my mom labeled it TV. <laughs> Did you show them this one? Oh yeah, you love this one. This is one of my favorites. We just bought it at All Dicks. Very inclusive of All Dicks, okay? <laughs> very cute. It's a very magical tree. This is the gym. And you just got flicked off almost immediately. Okay, so this is why I had to stop the kebab video. And do you hear this echo? So we never installed the curtains. We installed the curtain rods. Never put curtains in. So that's unfortunate, right? We just hung these up during the, when we would just do stuff in here at night time. This is our little tonal machine. We've got to uninstall it. Someone's coming to uninstall it. We've got all of these that I had to clean up on the side. This is being moved. And these freaking mirrors are being uninstalled tomorrow. So all of this is gonna go tomorrow. We're gonna have to redo the wall, repaint this room for the next, you know, and that's this room. 
I just have one question and one question only. How many condoms do you think that they give away at the Olympics? I just want to know. Just an innocent question because my fiance asked me this question the other day and I was confused. I was like, I mean, I don't know. I didn't know they gave the weight for free. How many do you think? And I was like, I guess maybe they give you like a little pack, like a little pack of three. I thought that that's what he was going to say, but apparently it's in the numbers of hundreds of thousands. At one point, the summer games in Brazil a couple years ago, apparently they give away 450,000 condoms. These are not for civilians. These are not for observers. Like if I went to Tokyo right now and went to the Olympics, Big games, they wouldn't be like, here's a free condom. These are for the actual Olympians. So I'm thinking to myself, that doesn't make sense. Why would the Olympians be having sex? So okay. I asked Stephanie, <laughs> why do you think they're giving them so many condoms? My first thought when he said that was they are not trying to create superhumans. Think about it. Think about it. Okay. Like the Olympians are trying to create superhumans and the Olympic Games, they want to put a stop to it because think about it. These Olympians are coming from every single corner of this world. They are the top athletes of their country. Gathering together, they could easily say, hey, I'm the best. You're the best. You and me, we make a baby and that baby is it's gonna, gonna rule, rule this world. world. Can you imagine if Olympians only married and had sex and only had children with other Olympians? People like you and me, <laughs> we would, like, <laughs> what would we do? Or like you and what me? if they want to encourage babies? Then why would they give away condoms? So that give them ideas. I, <sighs> they say, I have a condom now, I might as well. <laughs> They're encouraging it. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. And he's looking at me like, no, you're an idiot. And I was like, okay, then tell me the real reason, right? And he says, so Olympic Games, once you go in there, you can't leave for a period of time. Yeah, the village. The village. So imagine a bunch of athletes that's full of hormones, that's just like super fit, <laughs> super active. <laughs> just have so much stamina. Yeah, and energy. And they're trapped into an area for a long time and you can't go anywhere. So what is there left to do? <laughs> See, he told me that and I thought that that was crazy because I'm thinking if I were to run like the way they run, even yeah. for like two seconds, you're not seeing me naked that day. You're not doing anything with me that day. I'm... But he said after they do all of that, they're like, what do I do with all this extra energy? <laughs> I thought after the games, they'd all just... But I, I didn't know, right? He tells me this. I don't believe it, you know? I'm like, no, I'm gonna do my own fact checking. I go online. There are actually Olympians who have been interviewed who say that they were upset when they were in relationships when, the, when they went to the games. Why, why, why? Because Olympians have like sex three times a day. Shut up? Yeah. They, in the village? Yes! Some of them were like, there me. have been times where they had sex with three different women in one day. There was a male... Olympian that wait, said wait, that. Wait, 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 what? Yeah. So this is Olympian game is a yeah. It's a huge party. Apparently, another Olympian said that they walked in. Also, Olympian oh. sounds <laughs> like I'm talking about like some Greek gods right now. Yeah. <laughs> so one Olympian had walked in on a hot tub orgy of Olympians. A hot tub orgy of Olympians. Allegedly, okay. I didn't walk in on this. I don't know. So, okay, let me take it to a little further. So does that mean if I'm a gold medal Olympian, yeah. I walk around, I will be feeling like I'm Zeus. Oh, yeah. And then every other, you know, everybody's like, ooh. There's this one ping pong player, uh -huh. a ping pong Olympian, who said that um, he had more sex at his first Olympics than his entire life combined. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what's going on in uh, Tokyo right now? See, but there's a conspiracy. The Tokyo Olympians' beds are made out of cardboard. So there was this online conspiracy. Oh, it's because they don't want them to have sex at the Olympics. But apparently, it's incredibly sturdy beds. It's just a little bit more sustainable than getting, like, I don't know, Ikea beds, right? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, they are giving condoms as a farewell gift. So they're encouraging not to do anything because of, you know, the vir the, 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 the vid. As a farewell gift? Yeah, they said take your condoms, but don't use them until you leave. That'd but they give it to them yeah. as they walk in it. Yeah. So... Yeah, but they're trying to discourage it. Uh, they said uh, drinking alcohol is allowed if only it's in your room by yourself, which is really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently another Olympian said, think about it this way, right? Uh -huh. These are people, probably in the world, right, that have the most self-discipline. Because yeah. athletes have insane self-discipline, okay? It's like a... 
astronomical amount of self-discipline that these humans have. And then they finish their games, and it's just like a boop. And all of this, it's like, you pump the champagne. Okay, this is really graphic. At one games, it got so bad that Olympians were doing it on the rooftops. So the official directors of the games <laughs> had to write into their laws, no doing it in public spaces. Oh, I can't believe it. Some Olympians said you could just turn into a hallway in the village and like people would just be doing it in like a dark hallway. I can't yeah. do it. So, and this year, a lot of people are actually setting their Tinder and Bumble locations to the village in Tokyo, even though they don't live in Tokyo. So they can see them. Yeah, so they can match with Olympians. Ah! Okay, let me change it. <laughs> I don't have anything throwable near me. <laughs> my mom was a ping pong athlete. I don't think much happened over there. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a, you know, what sport yeah. gets laid the most? I feel like in the Olympics, swimming. Because sure. swimming, I know for a fact, swimmers have muscles in places you didn't know you could have muscles. <laughs> They're fing ripped. And you're yeah. like, you're just in water. Like, I'm in water all the time. I shower, I take baths. Why are you rich? But I mean, I feel like if you win yeah. some medals, oh, oh yeah, you you get yeah. you're getting laid. Yeah. I love us just like literally <laughs> mediocrely fit people just sitting here like you know the Olympics be you know how them Olympians be. <laughs> they run a seven minute mile. What's the fastest person ran a mile? My absolute fastest. Uh huh. Was like fucking, I don't know six minutes. What is the fastest mile? Oh what? Three minute and 43 seconds. And you're six minute, you're not that far Maybe behind, it wasn't you? six then, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. But did you know the average is seven? That's how I know. Cause I wanted to get to average and then I thought maybe I can get faster. And then like when I got there, I was like, I don't think running's for me. Like I have no butt, but anything I had left, it's just like I was running and it stayed. So it, I just left it, <laughs> I let it go. And I just ran away from it. I never got it back. That's my excuse. I'm like, I don't have a butt because I was like running. I also have one more question for you. So you know, um, A-S-P-H-A-L-T, what does that spell? A-S-P-H-A-L-T? Yeah. Alphabet. <laughs> what the f***? What? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're so wrong. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> you are embarrassing me. <laughs> So I was watching a TikTok of this girl whose boyfriend doesn't like to curse, so he likes to replace words. So I don't know if this is a troll video, it might possibly be, right? But let's say there's the word, um, helicopter. It has the word hell in it. So he says, hecacopter. Hecacopter. You know the Hoover Dam, the thing that stops the water? He says, the Hoover Darn, right? He doesn't <laughs> like to curse, right? So then the word was that word that I just spelt. And he said, butt fault. Spell that word one more time. Butt fault. And then I asked him, I showed him the TikTok. And I said, how do you spell it? And this guy says, oh shit, that's ass fat. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, did you just say that's ass fat? He said, yeah, ass fat. And I said, say it one more time with a straight face. Ass fat. Okay, I'm gonna spell it for you. Ass fat. A S P H A T. Ass fat. <laughs> is that what it is? How do you spell it? A-S-P-H-A-L-T Ass fat <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this guy, I have shown him this word I've spelled this word twice now So he just went from alphabet to ass fat Okay, in 0.2 seconds And I don't, I don't know what else to say He said alphabet And you said it so quick too With so much confidence First of all, I said A-S-P-H-A-L-T Alphabet is a fucking long word, dude. <laughs> How do you spell alphabet? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Alright, guys, I gotta go. This guy's doing too much, okay? I gotta go show him my asphalt, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna go lay in bed and maybe I'll let him grab my, my ass fat. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You need to check out GlassesUSA.com because you just may be getting ripped off with your prescription eyeglasses, your prescription sunglasses, because I know that I was. And I also get my contacts from there. Even my colored contacts. Amazing. 25% off of contacts. Go check it out. Linked in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.